One of the buses driving into the newly reopened Gatlinburg today will be from Harrison, and it is stuffed with donations from Southwest local schools. Not on your side's Evan Millward shows us the last load in before the bus hit the highway. Driving out of Gatlinburg. Getting on the interstate 40, uh, it was real hazy and you know, someone said something about fires. Southwest local bus driver Nancy Whitney didn't know how bad the fires were until she got home. She says this was the picture that did it, and a donation drive was born. Even this morning. There's paper towels, baby wipes, toothpaste, toothbrushes, deodorant, all kinds of toiletries and stuff just to help people get through it. These junior high students have been filling the bus here for days. We feel as a community that it's really important to help them out since they're in great need. Like there's people that they have, they don't have anything but the clothes on their backs. When I heard that Gatlinburg was burning, I felt pretty like bad because, you know, that kind of hit close to home because we go there a lot. And so seats stuffed, coffee and breakfast ready. This bus starts its haul to East Tennessee. Junior high students stand in snow flurries to watch it all leave. Whitney can't help but be emotional. It did a great job with sharing love and kindness in this world. And here we are today, stuff the bus. In Harrison, I'm Evan Millward, nine on your side. So beautiful to see those kids. If you missed out, but you would like to help, the Red Cross is sending a semi truck full of supplies to Gatlinburg later this evening. It's parked in the lot at Eastgate Mall near Logan Steakhouse. You can drop off supplies from now until eight tonight.